Hey guys, John here with Realtruck.com. Today I want to show you how to install the MGP caliper covers on this 2013 F-150. Okay guys, you can see here the kit comes with everything you need to get these on your truck. You have your front in your rear caliper covers and you have your clips to attach them with and also your instruction sheet. So let's get these on the truck. Hey guys, we've got our truck lifted up into the air. We've taken our wheels off. So now it's time to put our caliper covers on. Really simple, easy process to do. You can have these clips that come in the bags marked for front. Obviously they're the front ones. What we're gonna do is we're gonna take these and we're just gonna slide them in on top of our caliper brackets, just like that. And uh, now these are a little bit loose, so you're going to have to, on the bottom one, of course, when you go to slide it on, it's not going to want to stay. So what we're going to do is we're going to put the top one on here like this. And then once we have that on, then we're going to take the bottom one and we're going to simply slide it up on here. Just like that. Get those in place. Then we're going to take our impact or our torque wrench rather. And we're going to torque these nuts to 18 to 20 inch pounds. And that's what's going to hold these in. Now you'll notice that they are a little loose. That's fine. They're supposed to be a little loose. Once you get these on, then what we're going to do is we're going to spin our rotor and just make sure that our caliper cover clips aren't hitting our rotor anywhere and they're not. Another way you can do that is take a 13 thousandths feeler gauge and slide it in here and just double check to make sure that you've got plenty of clearance. However, on this particular application with these Fords, they have a lot of clearance in here, so no worries. So the front one's done and uh, we're gonna go ahead and uh, show you how to do the back. It's pretty much about the same way, but there's just a little few little differences. So uh, we'll get back there and show you how to do that one. As we've moved to the back of the truck, it's a very similar process. Just grab the clips out of, out of the kit that are marked for the, the uh, rear. And also um, something to take note of is that the caliper covers for the back are shorter than the front ones, so you know which ones go to the back. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our clip and we're just gonna slide it in here on top of here like so. Now you're gonna have to kind of work it around the uh, backing plate a little bit and uh, and we're going to put this on here. And get it in place. Like I said, guys, the, the, the rear ones are a little bit more tricky. Not real tough or anything to do, just a little more tricky to get on here. And then this one, and get it slid up in here. Just like so, and then once that's in place, then we can go ahead and do the same as we did on the front and uh, torque these down to 18 to 20 inch pounds. And there you go. Hey guys, we've got our caliper covers on, which by the way, you guys can see here, look pretty snazzy on this truck. And we've got our, our wheels back on the truck. So only one thing left to do, and that's take this thing out and cruise it around town and show these off. Remember guys, until next time, happy motoring.